When it comes to diamonds, the clues are a bit more specific. They're usually found alongside rocks like kimberlite or lamprite, both of which were formed by ancient volcanic eruptions. These rocks often carry what geologists call indicator minerals, which signal the possible presence of diamonds, even if they're not visible to the naked eye. And this is where insects come back into the picture. When ants and termites build their mounds in areas where kimberlite pipes are buried underground, they end up bringing pieces of these rocks to the surface, along with minerals like ilmenite, garnet, pyroxene, and spinel. These are the famous indicator minerals. Some of them are easy to spot even in their raw form. Garnets can appear in reddish or orange hues. Ilmenite has a dark metallic shine. Being able to recognize these signs can make all the difference, even without high-end tools. Experienced geologists and prospectors use this method to map areas with diamond potential. They examine insect mounds near ancient geological formations. And when they find indicator minerals, they start more detailed investigations. In many cases, this has led to the discovery of kimberlite pipes containing real diamonds. And here's the best part. This technique can even be used on ordinary land, including right here in the United States. States like Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana have favorable geology. In other countries, like South Africa, Russia, and Brazil, this insect-based approach is also gaining more and more attention. The real game changer here is that you don't need to be a geologist or invest in expensive equipment to start looking for signs of diamonds and valuable minerals.